Hello friends. Welcome to the example presentation for the Young Kalpana contest. You can find more about the Young Kalpana contest in the description below. Hi, I am Dhritiman and I study at Ryan Kasaba. Let's watch a presentation by Garvita from Ryan Rohini. She has chosen animal attorney as a future profession. Over to Garvita. Hello everyone. My name is Garvita Aroda. I am an aspiring student of Ryan International School, Second 25 Rohini. Today, I would like to talk about my future profession. That is animal attorney. Never mistake law for justice. Justice is an ideal and law is a tool. So here I am, an animal lover and a would-be animal attorney who will take you further with this topic. Every animal has a right to live a good life with respect and being treated right. Humanity is not about just saving humans. It is about coexisting peacefully. So now let's see where animal law applies. Some examples are companion animals like dogs or cats, those are domestic animals. They are provided the animal welfare needs and are properly vaccinated under the Welfare Act 2006. Next is zoos in which law acts up on how they should be treated there or how much food should be given. Wild animals are protected under the Wildlife Act 1972. Animals used in entertainment is also a big issue in India and law is making sure to ban tigers, bears or monkeys for the use of entertainment under Section 22 Part 2 PC Act 1960. Same is with animals used in tourism in which law acts up on how many hours they are going to work for or which animals are going to be used under this practice under Section 9 Act 1972. The last example is animals used in experimentation. It is an unethical practice and law is making sure to ban drug stores, cosmetic manufacturers and laboratories doing this under Rule 148C and 135B Act 1945. It is very important to know which animals are protected under the law because otherwise it would create a lot of confusion. The law clearly states that animals that have a backbone are considered under the law. For example, if you kill a mosquito, that is not considered an offensive law. Although, if you do cruelty with a dog or a cow, this is where you are in a punishable offence and can be put in jail for 3 months or be paid a fine of 1.5 lakhs or both. It's time to go back in time and step into the pages of history. The Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act 1960 authored by acclaimed dancer and animal lover Rukmani Devi Arundale is an act of Parliament of India inflicted by the unnecessary pain or suffering on animals. An animal lawyer can work for the government, big NGOs and private sectors. Let's see how to become an animal lawyer. To go to law school, you must first obtain an undergraduate degree at an accredited college. This typically takes four years. Then you need to prepare for the admission law school test. It basically checks your logical reasoning, analytical reasoning, reading comprehension and writing an argument. Then you need to apply to law school. And once you've entered, you need to do the basic law school courses. Law school is a three-year program if you're full-time and four years if you're part-time. Now, lastly, to practice law, you must take the bar exam. They are offered twice a year and as soon as you pass it, you can begin working professionally. The average starting salary of a new animal lawyer is around $50,000, but it also depends on the firm and the location. In conclusion, I would like to ask you all today to treat animals with compassion because there are many people who leave them on the street and I think it is a high time to accept them as a part of our community and hope for a kinder world tomorrow. In the end, I would like to mention my inspiration, Sahana Ramdas, one of India's fewest animal rights lawyer who is standing up for nature's furry friends. Sahana's love for animals motivated her to pursue animal law and it is doing the same for me. Thank you. Wow, this was so interesting. I never thought there was a profession about animal rights. Well, it's a great choice for students who want to study law and also love animals. Thank you, Gurvita, for introducing us to such a unique career option. Her presentation had a clean design and she spoke clearly and slowly. We can easily make out she practiced her speech very well. Now it's your turn friends, get out there and make amazing presentation for the Yamkarna contest.
friends if you like the video don't forget to give us a like comment or share thanks for watching bye